everybody. Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, After Sun. So, I've had this on my list for a little bit now, and i uh, been waiting to watch it, and now I'm finally going to do it. Hour and 42 minutes long, a little over my weekday limit, but we're going to go with it anyway. Um, it's about a girl, uh, Sophie, who reflects on some time she spent with her father on a holiday. Um, some of it's real, some of it's imaginary. Um, and she's like debating the man that she knew versus the man she didn't know. I don't know. You know, IMDb doesn't tell you much. 7.8. I tell you, that's what it tells you. 7.8 on IMDb. 17,176 people. <clears throat> and I always promise, I said this before in my other reviews, that I, I start giving credit because I, I don't, I think this came to me from, um, either Redbox or Amazon Prime. It's on Amazon Prime, but I don't know where I got the notification from. But today, going to TikTok, um, Cinema Joe is one of them. He rated his top 20 films rather quickly um, of 2022, and this was one of them. There was, a, there was a lot more, and I added a bunch to my list, but um, this one was already on my list. A lot of them, probably most of them I've seen, except for this one. There's two other ones that I didn't see. We'll talk about them when I get to them, but right now it's going to be this one. So, um, I don't know anybody in this, so... You know, it's kind of why, that's part of the reason I kind of held off on watching it, but we'll see. So, let's get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, let you know what I think. Stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in here. We're watching After Sun, we're at the 51 minute mark. Exactly, so, halfway through this, it's an hour and 42 minute movie, so, well, it worked out good. Um... Not a lot to tell at this point. It's very slow moving. In fact, I thought I was farther along in the movie. Um, but, you know, kind of what IMDb tells us, this 11-year-old girl named Sophie is on holiday because they're British or European or, you know, not on vacation like like I go on. They're on holiday, no. But, uh, you know, so the, but they're on holiday. Basically, it's a hit, the mother and the father... I don't know if they were ever together. I think it sounded like they were engaged at one point, never got married, but, you know, they have a daughter together, and this is his time with her, and he takes her on this nice uh, resort kind of vacation. They got a pool, they got entertainment, they got water slides, they got parasailing, you know, scuba diving. Like, it seems like a real nice time. It seems like it's a week long so far. Um, and I thought it was just, I thought the vacation was over in one series, and it's not. Um, he's also looking at a rug. He wanted to buy a rug. Um, uh, that, you know, but, uh, he's also, and it's funny because it's on the screen right now, I have a pause, in the Tai Chi, you know, like that slow moving karate stuff. So I'm not sure if that's something into it right, right now. I'm just trying to figure out what is going on. What is, I mean, there's nothing going on. You know what I mean? It's not like, but well, what's the movie about? I mean, I get it. It's about a young girl and she remembers. They do show flashes of her as a young adult in like a club with a strobe light, but that's it, you know what I mean? Just standing there, nothing, nothing, you know, peculiar about it. It's just, and, and, but now this is back when she's 11 years old. I will say this, I don't know if there's anything to do with the movie or if it helps, but you can tell she's starting to um, think about being older, puberty, those kinds of things. She's watching older people around them getting together kind of stuff. I mean, not in a bad way, you know, just like, kissing and stuff like that, so but she's very curious about that. But other than that, that's really it. He, he has a broken wrist when they show up. Um, so there seems like there's a lot to tell. It seems like he also had a girlfriend. They talk a little bit about that, but other than that, I, I, I think there's a lot to be revealed here in the second half that I think is really going to bring it home. But right now, it's just a, a father-daughter on vacation kind of movie with nothing extra special about it. She also has like a camcorder. Uh, it's not all seen through the camcorder. There are some scenes to it, but I don't know. Um, there, there's moderate hint, hints along the way. Um, he was tired at one point, but you know, I, I might be overanalyzing everything. Seemed like he might have had a headache. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Let's get back to it here and see where it goes. It could be, I don't know, very revealing in the second half. So stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of After Sun, and I have to say, 
It's a hard one for me to review. Um, um, I'll say the actor. I've never seen these actors before, but they are captivating, right? Uh, the characters that they play. Now, it is very... I don't know if slow burn is the right thing. I think slow burn sounds different than what it really was. But it's a very slow developing, um, you know, not a lot of action, long dramatic pauses, um, more visible um, storytelling sometimes than actual dialogue or action or moving, you know what I mean? Like, just like slow turns or just watching somebody wave for an extended period of time. That kind of stuff is in this, okay? But it's all done for the dramatic effect what, of what's going on in this movie. But again, I've, I've never seen these actors before, but I enjoyed watching them. You almost forget it's an actual movie. Not that it was filmed through like a video camera, like I had mentioned before, it's not like that, but you really, you're really into the story, I think. You know, while it does wear on you, I think a little bit, you know, the, the lack of... You know, I guess, I guess, I don't know what to say. Um, you know, um, yeah, I, you know, there's no, there's no action, so there's not that, uh, I can't think of the term, but you get it, right? Hopefully, maybe not, whatever. But anyway, as I had mentioned through the first check-in, if you saw that part, I'm waiting and waiting for what is going on here. Um, not really keyed in to what was going on um and so so my advice if you do decide to watch this movie if you if you heard some of the things that i said and you decide hey this might be interesting to me um don't wait take it for what it take it for what it is don't don't wait for something big to change or happen and stuff like that um i think it'll make it maybe better I don't know. It's a tough one again for me to review. It, and I think, uh, I don't think this is, maybe it is, but I don't think it's a movie you, you, you watch more than once. Maybe you can. Um, but I think it is a movie that you think more about afterwards um, and how it impacts you. So, I don't know. Father daughter film. I like that aspect of it, I like the acting. I do like the cinematography. I wasn't crazy about the, you know, the dramatic stuff, but that's okay. I think if you're ready for that and you go into it that way, you, you might enjoy it a little bit more. But, uh, for, and I'll be, I, I'm not going to say a spoiler alert. Well, I will. I'll just say spoiler alert. I'm not going to ruin the ending or anything like that, but just in case, I'm just going to say spoiler alert, spoiler alert, because I don't want anybody to get mad at me, but, um, it took, you know, I know it's a slow burn movie and it took an hour and 42 minutes for me to watch it. I f it took me a while to figure out what I watched. To be honest with you. And that, that's me. Um, so, if, you know, I don't know. I, and again, I don't want to give anything else away, but uh, that's all I got for you. I, I can't give you any more. you got to watch it for yourself. I think it's one of those kinds of films, but... I tried to give you as much as I could. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Check it out. After Sun. Yeah, very high rating, so. Alright, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.